Well, after Boris Johnson's decision to shut down schools from Friday, millions of parents and teachers found out today the scale of the disruption to come. But there remain unanswered questions over how students will be assessed, particularly those hoping to head to university later this year. Lisa Holland reports on the exam uncertainty facing students. 16-year-old friends Caitlin and Simran were already away from their school whilst it's being deep cleaned. But with no prospect of going back, the GCSE students know it's their previous schoolwork which they're now likely to be judged on. Personally for me, my predicted grades, if that's what they go on, I'm OK. But I know there are so many people that aren't and it's not fair that they can do so much better in the actual exam. But at the same time, the stress that we've gone through throughout this whole pandemic, it would be so disruptive to have the exams anyway. Like thousands of others, for these girls, the ritual of revision and exams has disappeared. I'm quite upset that we're going to miss out on our summer, the Year 11 summer that we've all dreamed of with prom and the Leavers Assembly and all of that. But I'm also happy in a way that we've missed the exams that were meant to be really, really stressful. This obviously has a massive impact on you, but do you and your friends understand just how serious the coronavirus is? Definitely. I do understand it, but at the same time, it's so confusing. They haven't put a, enough information out for us to fully understand it. As us kids, definitely on social media, that's our only way to get it out. At every level of education, students' plans are up in the air. Ella Staverley is studying for her A-levels and hoping to go to university. Obviously, I completely appreciate that this is a global health crisis and everything is being done to save lives and to prevent this virus from spreading, but... I think on behalf of both my peers and I, everyone feels a great deal of disappointment. This year will be like no other in deciding students' results. Scotland has already announced it will give estimated grades based on performance throughout the year. Official announcements for pupils in the rest of the UK haven't yet been made. Teachers already know a huge amount uh, about their students. There are all sorts of indicators and measures that can be used in terms of the attainment and likely attainment of pupils. And of course, importantly, the examination boards have that expertise uh, and that includes external moderation. But there's an understanding too that everyone's education will suffer because of time lost to coronavirus. We will recognise that this intake will not necessarily have had the same level of support uh, face to face that previous years have had. So there'll also be some stuff we'll be doing when students arrive with us to make sure that if any gaps appear uh, in their knowledge, then we can, can fill them, we can ramp up support. Like all of us, students will be spending their time in the coming weeks in a very different way to how they imagined. Lisa Holland, Sky News.